How are you all doing today? My name is Control Game, and I'd like to welcome you all back to a brand new video. Assassin's Creed Syndicate Let's Play. Um, I'm doing some more Secret 7 today. Please enjoy the video, and I'll catch you at the end. Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also By the way guys, I forgot to preface that from now on, I'm going to be skipping cinematics, just purely because we need to start speeding it up, get things done, so any cinematics, I'm sorry you guys won't be seeing, so yeah, I'll catch you guys at the end. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit. With those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Avalon. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Avalon. <coughs> I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Fry. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. Mm, the counterfeiters. Heard about the rising at the bank? They can ride all they like. We can give back those to you. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Anyone could be trying to get in. Yes, sir. Keep this place locked down. Yes, sir. Guard this place as you would the Bank of England itself. Absolutely, sir. <laughs>
Now to sneak these back into the bank. There, as if they were never taken. London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Face in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. Alright, guys, so we completed another bit of sequence 7. We got an M1877 Lightning firearms weapon. And we also got those gauntlet schematics. 
I'm gonna see if I can get any of these things, but I'll catch you guys back at the next mission that we're gonna do. So I'll see you guys then. So you can see we're back in the mission. Um, we're Jacob now. I just recruited a couple guys from the Rooks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go in, and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of the test. Majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections. We can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts. How dare you, sir? Merely because He's I do not wish to see government here. placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. This person has just been murdered. B, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just the job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to. Smug bastard.
bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Uh, uh, uh. Perfect. Alright guys, that's that done. I'm actually going to go and do another mission in this one episode. So, I'll catch you guys um, when we finish that mission. Well, when we start the mission. Yeah, when we start. So I'll see you guys then. That's a girl. <laughs> Alright, so three missions in one episode. You guys are lucky. I'm looking forward to this. So, guys, uh, get ready for some more fun. I'll catch you all at the end. You. Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your command? Oh, my God. 
See here. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. Hey! Get back here with that Prime Minister! Get back here with that Prime Minister! Guys, that's it. Another mission complete for Sequence 7. I've been looking on YouTube. By the time this is out, there'll probably be something. But at the moment of like this mad, mad recording session over the past three days that I've been recording Assassin's Creed now, and I'm already up to Sequence 7, I haven't seen anything on YouTube from Sequence 9 or Sequence 8, which is pretty cool because that means that I'm maybe one of the first people to post it, but I highly doubt it, which would be pretty freaking cool. But anyway, guys. Catch you all in the last bit of Sequence 7 in the next episode. Until then, enjoy.